When research suggests that a single chemical may cause harm, public concern rises, as it has for the plastic additive bisphenol A. Now, many more chemicals, there's 83,000 or so human-made chemicals that are used in the United States, and these receive very little attention. When we combine one, two, or let's say 10 of these in one product, anything can happen. And we're really at the mercy of chance since the combination will have never been tested. Now let's take the example of 3, 4, 4 prime trichlorocarbonylide, or TCC for short. This is the active ingredient in antibacterial soaps. A 2001 study found that it was present in about 84% of the antimicrobial bar soaps that are sold in the United States. Studies show that TCC is a hormone disruptor, similar to the action of BPA. They both affect the estrogen receptor. Now, studies looking at TCC and BPA combined show that they may, by having different effects, have a tendency to cancel each other out. So this is great news. Here we may be able to have all the BPA we want as long as we use antibacterial soaps. In fact, I'm trying to patent a combo pack that you can buy at Walgreens where each six pack of bottled water will have attached a bar of soap. But is it really good to use the antibacterial soaps? Remember, any chemical that you put on your skin will penetrate into your bloodstream. And that's exactly what happens with TCC. Antibacterial soap has its risks. One is that it kills the good germs as well as the bad germs. Remember our microbiome I'm always talking about? How this outnumbers our own cells in a ratio of 10 to 1? Now, there's another downside that using this every day, you'll be selecting for resistant organisms and you'll reduce the ones that are supposed to be there. Now, on top of that, you get a dose of a hormone disruptor. Now, the CDC did a study comparing antibacterial soap to regular soap and found that there was no difference in the number of colds and flus in either group. Now, natural soaps can be made from natural products like coconut oil or soap nuts. And these are so sources of soaps without chemicals. This is Dr. Karahauser. I'm recommending avoiding all antimicrobial soaps. It's been great talking to you. Thanks for watching.